Hey Beyonders, I'm Diego Bartis. I'm here with you again to give you an amazing experience because you know like Diego Bartis is just incredible. He's probably the best in the whole world. I can't believe there is someone as good as him. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I need to say Gabby Tots because she are not allowed to do it. Anyway, hey, beyond this, one more time, one more live. We just finished the Powerful Leaders Academy. And in this class, we teach you the seven principles, seven strategies that you need to understand, practice, to have a better communication with your partner, on the, especially on the dance floor. And another time we talk about some things out of the dance floor, but today is that. So if you wanted to understand how this whole communication happens, how we create influence, hijacks, lead well, follow well, you stay here until the end and I promise it will be worth your time. Once again, thanks so much for the members of the Beyond the Triples community. We have there Daniel, Linda, Lumico, Gordon, Gordon is still awake. It's probably like 4 a.m. in Singapore or so. And he is all with us all the time. Gordon, thank you so much, guys. Gabi, say hi, Lilika. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's talking more and more. You see, she said hi this time. And should, let's start talk about. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's start talk about the four principles that you need to understand to create a great connection with your partner. So first thing here, guys. Uh, the me as a leader, as the role I'm playing right now, I have to do three things. There are four things. Three is about me. Is one is about Gabby. So I will let her know where she goes. For example, Gabby, you go there. That's, that's what I'm telling you when I lead. I would let her know when she goes, which means Gabby, you go there and... Huh? Primary slide. Primary slide, yeah. And you also go now. And the third thing that I do as a leader is I need to tell her how fast I need her to go. It's more like, Gabby, I need you on the shopping mall and you need to be there in two minutes. Run. And she will do that. Because you guys know I love to use accelerations. I don't like to be um, a victim of the beats like a lot of things, a lot of people do. Like, okay, if this song is very slow, it's so boring because it's very slow. No, like when me and Gabby, we do uh, slow songs, it becomes even more interesting because you can use acceleration and play with everything. And all the people, oh, this song is too fast. Yeah, you can take a fast song and create slow moments in there. So I also will let her know how fast I want her to go because, like, I mean, let's do, let's talk just about left side pass I can use a left side pass in six counts six beats one two three and four five and six go back there because I don't want to change the microphone I can use a left side pass in four beats one and two three and four or I can also use a left side pass using just two beats one and two one and two so I decide how fast she goes but now is when it becomes interesting. She, we always decide how she goes. So let's say I say, Gabby, let's have a dinner Friday night on the sushi place. But she will always decide how you make her crazy hair look like, decide her clothes and everything else. And for follows, it's just the same. I will never, will never let Gabby how many steps she need to do, how she can move her body, how she can move her head, her arms. It's all about her. It's her responsibility. I, I, it's, I mean, it's much more than responsibility. It's like a gift, right? Because another dance styles, they didn't have that. They didn't have. They are so close all the time and the followers don't have a lot of choice. But in West Coast Swing, you do. You do use it it's your power use it you see gabby dancing she's creating another new stuff all the time and she has no idea what she is doing because she's playing and that's what i wanted for you to follow so remember the four principles as a leader i need to tell her where she goes when she goes how fast she goes as a follow she will always decide how it will happen 
So we, I will play some song here and we dance a little bit. And I just want to ask Gabi, I will do a thousand different passes and I don't want you to repeat once different stuff all the time we have a lot of followers watching us so they are recording it so yeah. it, now is the a thousand time variation for you uh, we stop the song when she repeat one single part it <laughs> Small talk, no conversation That look makes me impatient I can't tell what you're thinking Please tell me what you're thinking Last night we were more than fine Just tell me if you changed your mind If you changed your mind Cause I'm all, I'm all in I'm calling, no answer But you text me when you feel like When it feels right to you But I'm all, I'm all in, I'm falling faster But if you're looking at me with the heart of doubt Don't kiss me right now Don't tell me that you need me Don't show up at my house All caught up in your feelings Don't run me round and round Don't build me up just to let me down Just to let me down, down Yeah, guys, so this is Gabby for you. And this is the West Coast Swing Communication. It's the four principles. That's the amazing, that's the magic because we can still be so connected with our partners and so free to do what we want to do, to be ourselves. Uh, do you want to say something about that? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, she loves that. So this is the number one. Let's talk about the second principle here. Now we talk about the safe energy idea. Check that. Energy saving strategy. The perfect technique is to achieve the result you want with the least possible energy expenditure. Which means this is the same rule for any kind of sport. You need to achieve what you want and still save your energy. That's why it doesn't make sense to you lead all the time or to her to follow all the time. When I use uh, left side pairs with Gabby, I would not lead it during six beats. It's not like one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We do not have this connection. When I use a left side pairs with Gabby, I lead just at one, and I'm relaxing on two, three, four, five. Are you connected again sometimes just at the end of the six to create a new stretch at the one? Of course, it will change. If you change your space, the connection time will change and I will show you it in a little bit. But right now I'm talking about saving energy. Uh, when you do a left side pass, to me it's just like that. One, relax, three, four, five, connect one relax so i'm free to dance she is free to dance and save a lot of energy and it's not different for sugar push or sugar tech sugar push is not like leaders this is one of the most important information you ever gonna have on sugar push you do not lead on one and two it's not come to me 
you just invite her at one when you do stretch, one, and she is free on two. Then we have connection on three, and she is free on four and five, and connect on six again. So connected, free, connected, free, connected again. Connected, free, connected, free, connected again. So some leaders still uh, like the school of the leaders need to have control and have the connection all the time. No, guys, those are the old days. You guys in the new era right now, you can call Diego era or something like that. that makes sense? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's a new swing. It's different. It's lighter. It's softer. It's, it's, it's about more pleasure. It's not about lead and follow. It's about to create something together. And to create it, you need to relax when you can. Sounds good? Same thing when you do a whip. Any movement, we have a specific points when you have connection. Uh, maybe maybe in the future we create a, a workshop, a course, 100% about connection, teaching you all the drills, teaching you all the ideas, how to practice it. Because what, right now we are focused on motion quality. Uh, if you want to be part of the Beyond the Tribus community, it's 100% about motion quality because I know people want to look great. And you first need to work in yourself before working a couple. It's so easy to find connection with Gabby because she's already a great dancer by herself. I mean, if I ask her to dance by herself, you see how amazing she is. And when we dance together, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> Gabi, Gabi, we, we see what you write pretty soon. Lumiko, go see now, go and see now, go see here. And yeah, yeah, so she is great. So before become great with your partner, you have to become great by yourself. It's just like uh, fall in love, you have a relationship. If you are not feeling good about yourself, you are not happy where you are, if you are not in a nice place, you will not be happy with someone else, somebody else. So. First, you are happy by yourself. Then you'll be happy in couple. Same thing when you dance. First, you become a great dancer. Then you become a great couple dancer. So you need to have balance, posture. You have, need to step well. You need to have, know how to flow. Then we will work soon, I promise, to make your connection the best thing as possible. And right now, we will dance a little bit and I will show you some examples. I will let her free in a lot of moments to make you understand very well that in those moments that she is free, we don't need to have connection. We can touch ourselves. My hand can be touching Gabby's hand, but does not mean we are looking for anchor or anything like that. Save energy. Focus on the stretch. On the next topic, I will talk about uh, the moments when the follows can inf influence you and it will have a lot uh, uh, communication with that, that strategy right now.
Great, great, great. So yeah, this was a little bit to see better because sometimes you watch couples dance, but these are different between watch and really see. And what I like when we dance right after the explanation is because I know you'll be looking for what we just talk. So it's easy to you to pay attention. Oh yeah, he's not leading her at that moment. Even though they are touching each other, it's still a very relaxing moment. And right now, what brings us to the topic number three, and it's one of the most important questions, is when the follows can influence. When the follows... Bota o três, Emmanuel, agora. Yo, papai, carva, muito profissa, viu? Yeah, if two speak at the same time, it's not a conversation, it's a misunderstand. I am just a genius to think in things like that. Because when I'm talking with Gabi, when we have our conversation and I'm talk, she listen, she talk, I'm listen, this is a conversation. If we both talk to me at the same time, vai falando a mesma coisa, vai falando comigo ao mesmo tempo. Eu não quero saber o que tu tá falando, eu preciso que tu vai falando. And we are talking Portuguese so people will not understand. Yeah. If we talk like this, we do not have a conversation and with dance, with voice go swing is just the same. I just explained to you when I'm leading and when we are free. So let's say we, I lead a left side pass. I'm lead at one and she will be free for five beats. One, two, three and four, five and six or even more if I decide to. The idea is all the time when she are free, she has the power to talk and I will be preparing to listen. She just can't talk when I'm talking too, which means I'm leading her to this side and I want to stretch. But in the same moment, I'm leading her to this side. She want to walk to the other side. It's not the, the say no technique. It's just like uh, I wanted to create some hijack or crazy stuff. This would be a mess up moment. But if I'm leading her on the one to pass and she decides to not pass after that, so one, two, three, four, and get back, that's okay. That's totally okay. Sometimes they stop here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sometimes I do a sugar tuck and she stop on four and play, or sometimes she lead me after that. Yeah, do the lead one. Sometimes she stop and she lead me to go to the other side. And that's great. Uh, sometimes I do a reverse sweep, but before I'm leading her to get back, she escape. And this is before I'm leading. So there is a moment leaders, when we are leading, we have the connection to lead. But between those moments, she are 100% free to talk. And the dance is just about that. And uh, once again, follows, you don't have to do it. You can, you can, you are allowed, you can use it, but just if you feel like it, because there's a lot of things to improve in this dance and you can't improve all at the same time. So maybe some of you are watching right now and say, oh, I would love to do that. Yeah, so practice that. Just figure out any movement, what, what times are you free and use those times to create some different strategies there. But if you don't like it, if you prefer to follow uh, at least 90% of the time, you can do it, there is no problem. I just I wanna make sure the leaders understand that and the follows also understand that too, good? So right now we try dance a little bit in Gabi, we try to create some ideas to make you understand. And maybe we see some, some mess up moment and that's all good too. So it makes the dance even more interesting. So do not worry about, don't do mistakes, don't do mistakes should never be your goal. Your goal should always have fun, challenge you, challenge your partner and create unforgettable moments on the dance floor. Cool? Let's dance. trying to lock me down and I always up and leave but for the first time in a while I want to throw away the key and I know you've been in a couple more relationships than me cause you talk a different talk and you kiss me differently now I don't know where to go after you love me this way 
have do you love me so good? How are you gonna tell me you don't wanna stay? guys i hope you are liking it you are paying attention about what you are saying and what you are doing because all should make sense for you if not or if you have any questions write out on the zoom if you are on the beyond the tubers community or in the youtube channel it will be our pleasure to help you and remember the beyond the triples week is coming and i will show you again Gabi, I love your case. Yeah, and we, we are showing again the QR code right now. So subscribe right now. And let me ask you something, guys. If you are watching it in live or if you are watching it on recording, please send it to a couple friends. Send it to a couple West Coast Swing dancers because this is a great content. Everybody needs to know about that. And it's your way to help the West Coast Swing community to become better. So please send it on your WhatsApp groups. Talk about with your group classes and send to your friends on Facebook or YouTube or uh, Instagram, whatever. But let's share all this information. Sounds good? So let's go to the topic number four right now before we have a break. Oh, we have a question. Uh -huh. We have a question here. If Diego creates a moment for Gabby to do her thing, what signal is Gabby using to mark that she is? She is what? I did not understand. Oh, okay, okay. So you want to know how she will end up this? Yeah, if that's so. I have a question here from, from Lumico. So she is basically asking if... Oh, that Lumico? From Lumico. Oh, Linda, from Linda. Yeah, and she asked... Uh, Linda, let me see if I understand. You want to know which, which signal Gabi is giving to me to make me understand she is finished with her thing. Is that? Good. So she will never be finished she will never that's that's her point so i don't i am not waiting for her to finish i'm i'm watching and having fun but i let's say if i ask gabby imagine that i ask gabby to create a 20 count variation in her anchor so i will do that one two three and four five and six seven eight one two so i can go into 20 here easily so what happens is when I want, I will be leading her and we start. So I lead, stay dancing, Gabby. She is dancing, she is dancing, she is dancing. And I will lead her whoop, and she's prepared to respond. Of course, if she wants to finish and she, if, uh, she will show this. Great. So she's there and I can still look into her. And yeah, it's pretty. I mean, I can keep myself here. 
or okay let's dance Vroom, start dance again you get it but it's not like oh i'm waiting for her to finish she can do some fast variation and can finish or i can keep going it's like we talked about that a couple lives ago is it a truly conversation without any rules there is no recipe so let's say uh, i was dancing with gabby a couple days ago in her place and and i did some turn like this and i stop here and catch her hand and she started to walk in and play and dancing so i can't yeah i can't okay 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 yeah i can't see she creates stretch to me again. She creates space. So it's her way to say, okay, I'm ready. But if I do not want to wait for it, go back. And change her hand and create a new thing here, I will do it. If I do not want to wait for that and walk around her, I will do it. If she wanted to stop here and walk in the other direction or start to turn herself, like she does that all the time. She starts the spins. Yeah. Uh, I, I give space to her and she does something that she starts her spins. And okay, let's do her spins. And that's what you have to do. This is the conversation. So there is not exactly a recipe. There's a bunch of experience that you can have and talk with each other here. Make sense? So. Sounds good? Good. Nice, Linda. Thank you, guys. Uh, great question. Great question. Send, send us more. Send us more. Um, let's see here. Oh, number four. The leader is the anchor. The follower is the ship. The ship. The ship. The follower. Yeah, we, we, we write wrong here. So what that means, Diego... I am the anchor. She is the ship. So she when it goes far away, and I will be the anchor who will say you goes until here. Which means if I do a movement and I stay in my place, the ship cannot go so far. She goes as far as she can, but she just goes until here. But yeah. But if I create more space, she needs to use it. And some problems is some follows when they start to dance they learn that the the base key on the ramp pass is just like that five squawk on the one two three and four five and six doing a triple step in place and that's not right because your triple steps will need to look for the stretch and if i'm giving her more space she need to do a triple steps more like gabby is doing right now moving herself backwards to find this space and if i give her less space like i can do when i move myself for the other space she would need to do very small steps to stay here so imagine this guys this is the, the easiest way to understand i am the anchor she is the ship she try goes as far as she can and i will let her go as far as i want to if we change places she will not have a lot of space if I let her go, she will have much more space to use it. Sounds good. I think it was clear for you. We have a quick break right now. Uh, and we'll be back soon with three extra strategies to you to create a very powerful communication with your partner. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs> go take some water, guys. I see you soon. I will share with you right now some of the best comments I received. Uh, some of the members of the Beyond the Triples family, they said it to me, they want to talk to you. So watch it because I love it and I know you will love it too. Hello, my name is Daniel. And my name is Linda and we're from Sweden. Hi, I'm Lumiko from Tokyo. We've been with uh, the Mentoring Coach uh, program for a year now and it helped us uh, develop both as a couple and on the dance floor. After Diego's training, I became more confident in my moves. I discovered new postures and new techniques to enhance my dance. How to get better from inside and outside. And that is very, very interesting. And I also became part of a great community, the Beyonders. And their support helps a lot growing and improving your skills in your personal life as well as on the dance floor 
and it's really important and I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So come and join us to find out how the group is nice and how the program can change your dance. I hope you will enjoy this program. So thank you Beyonders and thank you Diego. Loving can hurt Loving can hurt sometimes But it's the only thing that I know When it gets hard You know it can get hard sometimes It is the only thing that makes us feel alive Everything, everything here happens just so fast. We are doing live. You always doing some stories, Sherry. Gabi is sharing the stories on her Instagram right now. So everything is oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, Beyonders, we are back. Daniel, Linda, I see you tomorrow for your lesson. Let's talk about that. Yeah, tomorrow looks like a great day. Uh, we talk about what, what's the topic number five? Mamonel, show the next one on the Tamasa del Seguino. Muito massa. So we will talk. Yeah, no, no, the last one. Yeah, improbable spaces, guys. This uh, m uh, happens a lot when we talk about the last topic. When we say uh, the lead is the anchor and the follower is the chip. So she goes, she goes, she goes. So how is the best way to practice this, guys? Is learning how to play with the spaces using the movements that you already know. So I can dance with Gabby here. And I can, let's show you three different sugar pushes, for example. We have a first sugar push when it's just the basic idea. I move a little bit back, a little bit forward, and she goes until she can. Okay, so this is the base one. But I can have a second version when I move myself a little bit backwards. And when I do that, 
I lead her with less space. So she needs to do an anchor in more short position. And I have an option of leading her and let her go to create that. So I would say for my students, dance as you have the whole world to use it, and as you just have a little square to use it. This is a great way to practice. The idea is she needs to move forward as fast, not, not as fast, sorry, as far as she can to create a stretch. But moving forward as far as she can, uh, we, we change all the time uh, when I change my body position. So let's practice just a little bit. If I do a left side pass, on her arm and stay here, she try go, but she can't a lot. I can stay here on the same place over and over again. Or I can create as much space as she can use and stop her just before she touches the wall. And uh, we will dance a little bit right now to show you uh, how the differences are. And I want you to pay attention about how I can stay and lead her and, and don't let her move me a lot. Or how I can follow her movement and how Gabi will use her body to create that stretch, to create that connection. So it's good. Remember, it's not just watch, it's really see. So pay attention right now. Guys, this is the West Coast Swing Arm Wrestling. And this uh, is a principle behind the softness of all movements. But before I'm talking about that, remember, beyond the triples week, it's coming. You just need to use this QR code right now and subscribe. And maybe you are watching this uh, today or maybe in one month or two months. But maybe we still have a new Beyond the Triples you come. So just use the same QR code and maybe it will work for you. And you have the opportunity to join us on the Beyond the Triples week and on the Beyond the Triples Academy. Good. So let me explain you a little bit about the arm wrestling. It's like this war here between me and Gabby. She work out every single day for five hours and do ballet and everything. So imagine that. It's like we will have a real fight here, but she will use just 30% of her real power to try to beat me. And I will let her almost win. And I beat Gabby. Ha! So I let her go. And when I see her small smile in her face and I change the game and I beat her. That's the whole goal between 
behind the West Coast Swing connection. I will let her almost win and I will beat her. And the important thing here is she really thinks she will win. She will not give up. It's not like when I push, she release total. No, she creates compression because she wanna win. And I say, no, Gabby, not today. That's why, because sometimes, that's why sometimes you can create connection when you can even move forward because she's not arriving and getting back by herself. She's waiting for me. She tries to go in that, that this direction. She tries to go in that direction. And I let her almost win and I will beat her. And this create this amazing SpongeBob effect when she feels the softness and I feel her softness too. Imagine. Imagine that. Let me show you here so you don't have to imagine it. Mm -hmm. So when you do a sling shot or so, it's the same idea. So she try go, then I beat her. She try pass when I lock her from the arms that are, and I beat her. But before I beat her, I have to let her almost win. That's create a connection to do a stretch. So she's almost win. No, boom, boom, and to do sugar touch, and to do a fast and loud ideas like that, and like those ones that we use today. So she is almost win, and Diego says not to take. Sounds good? So, uh, before we go to the next idea, guys, I want to make sure you understand that. So, if you are a follow, always oh. try to. If you are a follow, follow? Follower. follower. If you are, a, yeah, Gabi is my English teacher right now. If you are a follower, try to use your energy in this direction and this direction. So walk here, Gabi. So energy, 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 oh, no. Energy, 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 oh, no. Use this energy to create this SpongeBob effect, the arm wrestling idea. And if you are a leader, Make sure you let her almost win over and over again. Cool. Let's go to our last topic. And the last one is cross listening. The best conversation happens when both are interested in what the older has to say. Uh, it looks like we already talked before, but now it's not about the free moment. It's about leaders. You need to listen to your partner. Some leaders, they, they step out on the dance floor, focus 100% on lead, and they are not paying attention about what she are doing, or what she want to do. And followers, you do the same sometimes. Many followers, they step out on the dance floor and they think that the most important thing is the song, is the music, cartão cheio. <laughs> you still listen, you can't see me now, but you still listen, so you stay there because I will sing to you, want you, uh, Italy, Manel, figure out that. Uh, oh, we are back. No, we are locked. No, we are, no, we change, things are changed here. We are trying to figure out as we always do, but one day, one day we have no problems at all. Hey, Lumiko, how are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, let's say, well, I, I show you already today. Sometimes I start to lead Gabby and she lead herself to do a spin. And I'm listening, I'm paying attention on my follower. Ah! So I see she will turn. Of course, sometimes we not agree. Sometimes I be paying attention and not stuff. But my goal as a leader is to listen my follower. Let me say it again. My goal as a leader is to listen my follower is the same way as she is there to listen to me. And if you are a follower, make sure you do the same with a partner because not all communication are in a physical way. Sometimes it's the way we see, it's the way we look and we need to keep our eyes connected to our partner. So today was about that. Uh, we talk about uh, communication between partners and we bring to you some strategies to make sure you will learn and you improve yourself. If you have any questions, send this to us. 
uh, at any time, at any moment, please. It would be my pleasure, be Gabby's pleasure to help you guys. Can't wait to see you next Thursday here in our next live. Remember, we have powerful leaders. Then we have the Beyond the Triples community. And we have the Beyond the Triples week coming. And right now, we sit down for a couple of minutes with the Beyond the Triples community to see them talk uh, very good about Gabby because they <laughs> do not talk more about me because they already think, ah, oh, I talk about, uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's answer some questions and you are our guest to stay there. <laughs> let's go, na cadeira pra Gabi.